L-I-P-L-M. So let's look at customizing the tool library. First we'll look at what's in the out of the box tool library. Then we'll look at adding a tool to the library. Then adding a holder to the library. And then we'll add a tool and holder combination to the library. And lastly we'll look at deleting a tool from the tool library. First let's take a look at what's in the tool library out of the box. Notice we have several class selections. These are basically categories that break down the different types of tool that, tools that are in the library. For example, we have end mill non-indexable, end mill indexable, ball mills, chamfer mills, and so on. Let's take a look at the out-of-the-box end mills, non-indexable. Notice I have a search criteria dialog. This will limit the tools for what we're specifically searching for. However, I want to see all of the tools, so I'm just going to go ahead and hit OK to this dialog. Notice we have several out-of-the-box end mills in the tool library. However, we're going to go ahead and create our own end mill and then add our own end mill and holder into the library. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and create an end mill and I'm going to create a 20 millimeter end mill. And I'm going to go ahead and give it a description. The description is going to be my 20 millimeter end mill. And in order to write it to the tool library, I need to open up the library section of the dialog. And I'm going to give it a library reference. This is going to be the reference name in the tool library. So I'm going to call it a1234 underscore 20 millimeter end mill. And I'm simply going to use the export to tool library. I'm going to put this in the non indexable section. And notice A1234 underscore 20 millimeter end mill was created in the metric tool library. Now let's look at adding a holder to the holder library. So I'm going to first go ahead and create a simple holder. and I'm going to give it a description and then I'm going to again just like I did with the tool library reference I'm going to give it, give it a holder library reference I'm going to call this A1234 holder and I'm going to simply export the holder to the library. A1234 holder was created in the metric holder library. These are now separate entities in the library. So I created a 20 millimeter end mill and then a holder into the library. Again, these are now separate entities. To show that, I'm going to go ahead and retrieve each of those from the library. So I'm going to retrieve that 20 millimeter end mill that I had just created. Remember I created that in the non-indexable section. Notice here it is listed first. So 
So here is the 20 millimeter end mill. Notice there is not a holder attached to this tool. If I want to bring that holder that I had just created into uh, this tool, I can simply go to the holder tab and use retrieve holder from library. Notice I have the holder listed here that I had created. So now I have the tool and the holder together. Now if I want those to be saved to the library so that those will both open up together as basically a combination tool and holder, what I can do is save that tool again to the library and it will automatically save the holder along with it. So now I'm going to go to library and export tool to library. It's going to ask do I want to overwrite it. Yes, I want to replace it. Notice they were both written to the metric library. So now to show this I'm going to go ahead and delete that tool that we just had open and retrieve it from the library again. I'm going to use retrieve tools from library. Again the non-indexable end mill. I'm going to select the end mill that I have created. And what you'll notice now is the tool and the holder come in from the library as a combination. So again, you can export the tool itself to the library, the holder itself to the library, or if you have a holder and a tool created, you can export those together so that they will come in from the library as a combination. Next, let's look at deleting a tool out of the tool library. Notice the path to get to the tool library. I went to C Drive, Program Files, Siemens Folder, NX10, Mock, Resource, Library, Tool, and then the Metric Folder. So now we're looking at the metric folder. So what I'm going to do is simply right click on the tool database.dat file and open that file. As I scroll through here, of course I could use the search option if I needed to. As I scroll through here, we will see the certain categories for each of the tools in the tool library. And as you can see here, notice I have a data record displayed for the tool that I had created. To remove that tool from the tool library, I'm going to select that line and simply delete that, select that data line. Save the tool database.dat file and back in NX. I'm going to delete this from our NX session. And now if I go to retrieve tools from library in non-indexable end mills, notice I do not see the tool that I had just created. Ally PLM.